welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Japanese YouTube Atheist Community, and um, Tiny Chat, you know, whatever it was. Um, it really wasn't that bad. The first few hours was, you know, conversational. Um, mostly uh, Logic Rolls the Dice Guy, and then Das Book, and uh, philosophy kind of angle to it. Um, quite adequate, and you know, the second couple hours were mostly about vlogger dome or how to communicate with people or how to how to do this thing you know sort of kind of conversation so I suppose so um no yeah, it wasn't a bad night so yeah quite adequate um but, you know whatever it served its purpose um yeah <laughs> i get tired um so i have to do something about that uh, but anyway, I do, it's like the new computer screen is huge, so, yeah, this was like the thank you video was sort of a response to the fact that somebody sent me this very nice, big, giant screen, so I should be able to do something really interesting, like, you know, foreground, background, or something, I don't know, it's just two feet across kind of thing. It's really quite good for my visual limitations. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so I should be doing something interesting. This is basically the computer I want to use just for editing, but, um, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do yet. Um, I mean, I have a better computer for editing, and so I just have to get that running, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, and then I have to find work and, you know, whatever. So, there's all kinds of different things I'm working on. Um, but anyway, um... So, yeah, I'm just thinking about these different tools that are just, you know, half done that I want to fix. Uh, so anyway, this is the tool page that's, you know, linked on most of my videos. Um, you know, it just has these little indexes of the videos, which is, you know, kind of a nice way to go through things. So, uh, I guess I'll just kind of point out Arena Web did a video. Um, that's the most, the newest edition thing, new. Yay, it's been a long time. Um, she was sort of dressing down, but she was just, you know, lovely as always, and such, and, um, you know, just kind of lamenting the whole, you know, life as a Ukrainian, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I, I, mean, I shouldn't laugh, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's, a, you know, it's one of those situations where there's no real win, you know, at all, I mean, the Ukraine independent is, isn't ready to be independent, and now it's just being ping-ponged between, you know, the self-interests of the Europeans versus the self-interest of the Americans, and it's just this insidiously crappy game people play with other people's lives. But anyway, um, you know, I'm, it's no point in me expressing my opinion about, you know, I mean, I'm not a big fan of borders anyway, so I kind of want things to become more collectivized into bigger and bigger things and then have the bigger and bigger things merge into something called the human race because you know all this diversity shit is going to kill us in the end uh, we really got to get past that you know the future just isn't going to sustain you know um, a civilization that doesn't have some mechanism to disengage us from having nothing to do but kill each other as a last resort our first resort our only resort um, which brings me sort of to a Thunderfoot video, um, you know, where he just, he, he just did one of these, you know, character assassination instead of really talking about the subject. So, you know, this stuff and Molly Hugh guy is basically this anarchist kind of crap. And it's, it's basically a bullshit philosophy, and yes, he presents it in a kind of cultish way, but again, that's not a counter-argument. Um, whether something's a cult or not doesn't make it right or wrong, and, um, you know, whether, I mean, people, you know, Thunderfoot, in his, in his, in the very way he talks about the cult, he behaves like a cultist. I mean, the very propagandist, the very replaying the same clips over and over again. I mean, he uses the same sort of psychological gimmetry um, in, in making his point. You know, the same kind of, of um, playing with images and playing with redundancies and, you know, so I mean, you could just bust him on the same sort of standards he busts other people on, and so that you know it just makes it for such bullshit. But I mean, it's just this idea that you know there's a point in the video where Thunderfoot essentially defends democracy as saying that we somehow have, you know, we have a representative democracy, which we don't. I mean, my fault, my 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 
complaint for the Stefan Malihu types is, isn't the fact that they hate the government. It is that they're not willing to fix it. Not willing to recognize that that's the only game in town. Whether you call the mob the government or whether you call the government the government, it's, there's going to be one. And yeah, I, I don't think there's any point in going back to mob rule. Um, I mean, real mobs. I mean, just gang warfare uh, versus government warfare. Government, you no. Know, the idea is to fix it. And the real problem with our democracy is that we don't have representation. And Thunderfoot's just kind of full of shit, saying, "Yeah, we somehow have a vote." I don't have a vote. I can vote no, but I can't vote. I, I can't vote no enough. <laughs> There's more people to vote no for than I'm given the right to vote no for. I'm only given one no vote. I'm not given a no vote for the other asshole, too. I don't want either one of these assholes. All right? They give me a choice for president. I don't want either one of these fuckers to win. Um, and certainly for Congress, I'm not given any representation. I've never had a representative in Congress. I never had a guy I voted for. I voted no, and he still was my congressman. What kind of bullshit system is that? <laughs> I vote no, and he's called my congressman? No, that doesn't sound like representation to me. So, I mean, obviously we do this geographic thing, and we do this winner-take-all thing, where we basically steal representation from people. And so, if Thunderfoot wants to make a, a, a valuable video, why doesn't he make a video about how to fix democracy, instead of claiming that people who say democracy doesn't work are wrong? They're not wrong to say it doesn't work. They're not wrong to say, I don't have any rights. Um, I certainly don't have a right even to make an argument in Congress, let alone to throw a veto into Congress when they're going to do something that's going to compromise my rights. And obviously our Constitution doesn't mean shit because we have a bunch of lying creeps as judges. So, I mean, this system is really, really bad. And you can't complain about people finding it obnoxious that this is what they're given. The fact that they resort to some fanatical, loopy idea that let's go back to, you know, <laughs> you know whatever, let's go back 10,000 years and just give it all to the rich or give it all to the guy with the biggest sword, that's no, that doesn't make any sense either. So, I mean, obviously there's no sense in saying, well, let's do anarchy because we know what anarchy leads to, which is the power consolidation. And then you're just, you're just, you're again owned by a, a gang. You, you know, you'd have to pick which gang is going to own you. Who wants to live like that? I, no, I'm not voting for that either. So instead of getting to the real issue again, it's just this bullshit, um, superficial commentary. Um, you know, why don't you just talk about his bald head, Thunderfoot? I mean, I, I, again, it's just as meaningless to talk about whether he has a style that um, is manipulative. It's just too fucking irrelevant. You have a style that's manipulative. It's just, it just isn't relevant. The relevant issue is whether you're saying something um, meaningful and um, accurate. And when you defend our democracies in the world, you're not saying something accurate because they're indefensible piles of shit. <laughs> okay, they're not representative democracies. Uh, they are majority um, dictatorships. Um, and it's not even majority dictatorships. They are it's all based on geography and segregation so you can have a substantial um, not a majority per se but certainly in a sense you can have you you could literally with our democracy have a majority as in the bush election for president where the general vote he, he loses by two million votes and yet he's still president of the united states because of a gimmick the electoral college so a gimmick makes him president of the united states even though he lost the majority vote. I mean that in itself. I shouldn't even have to say anything more than just point out that election and say why should I be, why should at the, at the, at the, at the point of a gun have to take orders from a system too stupid to figure out you lost the election. Anyway. Yeah, moving on. Let's <laughs> see if there's somebody else relevant. I made videos, of course, but, you know, Grey Guy made it, uh, one of my, you know, it's one of my, it's a remake of, you know, my rhetoric crap, and that was a really, let's see what the title was, that was a good video, uh, Category Valuable, yeah, so, um, it was interesting graphics in the background, interesting, well, but, you know, inter it, he always does something interesting, it was just interesting, you know, um, uh, 
combination. So um, I hope that won't be underappreciated. Uh, the interview between me and the conversation between me and Mr. Natural was posted. That's good. Um, some asshole um, posted about 49 comments, you know, chunks of comments. So I will respond to them, but it's just an obnoxious. I mean, people are just so fucking stupid. So the subject's about education, being smart, having knowledge of stuff, and yet he doesn't even display the knowledge to no, know. It's grotesquely obnoxious to post 10 comments on a video. And to post comments as you're listening, which is even more obnoxious. Like, you can't listen to the video first and then make your commentary. Um, just, just, you know, god damn. And now he's going to talk about what is stupid in the world. And why the stupid is stupid. And yet he's too stupid to figure out it's obnoxious to post 10 comments on one video. Yeah, you're just shit. So anyway, and it's just, but it's the same nitpicky bullshit, right? Not on the subject. Just bring up some kind of stupid thing like you're, you're suggesting, well, let's go to war to save whatever kitten kind from abuse in, you know, anti kittenia and um you know some assholes say well what about people who got who their feet will get wet and their boots will get wet and they won't have any place to dry their boots and you know you're just like what are you fucking talking about we're talking about going to war and you're talking about you know the 13 people who are going to have foot problems i mean you're wasting my fucking time asshole what i want as a counter argument is something real not not some kind of bullshit. Yeah, okay, so a few people die. Big deal. We're saving about 900 zillion over here, so your little wimpy bullshit doesn't mean anything. You know, and so it's just it's just so obnoxious. The nitpickers, the naysayers, they just show up to say any idea is a bad idea. They're, they're just so Nietzsche-esque in, in the sense that it's so easy to tear something down. And, it, you know, it takes some kind of work, you know, to, 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 to build something. And that, that, that this 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 duality this this is the biggest dualism that exists in our reality is the fact that it's too easy to tear down and too hard to build, and that that conflict that exists is a real problem because these little wimpy assholes with their nothing just show up with their you know let's just crash into it the right way and knock it down and, and it's just. It has nothing to do with demonstrating anything like a real failure. It's just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's the worst kind of propaganda. This easy little naysay thing of, of distorting perspective and keep taking your eyes off the prize and keep pretending that uh, if you were to accomplish the goal that your little nitpickery doesn't mean anything. You know, it's always taking it out of the context, like, this is a solution. You know, it's almost like the, the you know, when people talk about vaccines or something, and they start, whoa, what about mercury, and what about this, and what about that? And it's just like, yeah, they just totally take your eyes off the, the function. Take, take your eyes off the fact that you have gained immunity from a, a, a horrible disease that, you know, will cause suffering and death to potentially hundreds of thousands in your defense of 12. I mean, it's just so stupid. Ugh, so short-sighted. So no-sighted. Well, anyway, enough of that. Um, so what else? Um, yeah, the Logic uh, Rolls the Dice guy has made about 7 zillion videos, so all of his show up over here. So there's a ton of them. Yeah, it's been making a lot of videos. Um, but anyway, that's, it's good. Um, I haven't watched all of them myself, and, you know, he keeps pushing the point that, you know, there he is, that, you know, there's these simple rules to how you can rationally discuss reality, and you have to obey these certain <laughs> rules, and it's not that demanding. I mean, there's properties and categories, you have to defend why you put something in a category. Um, you know, with some sort of evidence and weight and all of that kind of stuff. This isn't that complicated. And um, you can't just, you know, if you're going to have a premise that is basically every story that any asshole can just make up in their imagination is a valid opinion, um, well, you might as well just say, fuck it to logic. Um, anyway, something like that. I didn't put that in 
very eloquently, but you should be able to get the drift of it. Uh, Hoth of the Day did a little bit of a, I don't know what the hell is there, I guess it's a physics video, but I guess I shouldn't even reference it because it's an hour of, you know, yeah, not too fucking good. Uh, and not too fucking much. I mean, it's just this speculation about whether the the, the the fundament of the universe is made out of something discrete, simple rules, or something else, or what those simple things... And, and, you know, I don't know if there's any point in getting that granular. You don't have to get that granular to get the idea that, okay, yes, it's mechanical, yes, it's made out of stuff that does certain specific stuff, and you don't really have to get... You don't have to get that finer resolution. Although finer resolution is nice. <laughs> you know, bigger is better. Um, anyway, quite nice. So, and then there's Anta Kantavad just doing the same old crap. I mean, I, I do want to do a video based on one of his comments, because it's just the typical comment, you know, the typical glib. Oh, you're just bringing up that consequence shit again. You know, that, oh, yeah, somebody's going to get harmed, or there's some problem, or some suffering. Well, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's so pedestrian. You know, which is just another way of saying that, you, you know, you haven't transcended reality by coming up with a fantasy fable that gives you reason to think you're accomplishing something with your silly ambitions and your silly ego maniacal bibble babble. And that's all he is, you know, he's, he's, um, trying way too hard, <laughs> you know, too, way too desperate to make his life mean something by just basically saying, I'm going to be better than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not an accomplishment on Planet of the Fucked Heart. So, good luck with that. Um... And he's not going to be better in some kind of real way, just better in some sort of whatever his his ten bullet points of of uh, Mega Man things are, you know. But you can see him desperately struggling to keep his little his little ten points of Mega Man standard. Uh, you can just see the ego just hungry for preservation of some notion that his life means something, when of course he's just another asshole. Um, you know, making a mess. Um, but but he even says one one comment where he actually says something like, "I am fully invested in it" or something like that. And and you know, not even realizing he just had a kid, and he still doesn't get the idea that you now he's not just investing himself in it; he's investing other people's welfare in his crap, and that's why it's significant. That's why what you pay for it. That's why consequences are important, it's because consequences affect other people. But these solipsists, these self-obsessed, I make my own reality crapheads, um, you know, have invested themselves in a delusion that the only thing they have to account for is whether they are comfortable. You know, whether their Mega Man is surviving. That, am I? Am I winning? That's and that's at the extent. What's in it for me? He actually said those words too. What's in it for me? <laughs> you know, so so any discussion of philosophy has to have some sort of personal payoff for him, or else, yeah, that's not philosophy of any value. So obviously, consequentialism wouldn't have any meaning to him because pff, what's in that doesn't have any. He's not gonna. He doesn't benefit from people's happiness or sadness. That doesn't have anything to do with his comfort. So um, you know, it's just <sighs> void of all. Um, recognizable notions of um, character or you know just the the ABC's the two plus twos of existence is this realization that yeah this isn't something you, you're doing just for you or just to you that there is an impact your life impacts the existences of other sentient beings and that means something Wow I mean, to think that first step is something complicated for these people. It's just, it's just plain scary. So anyway, um, what else? I don't know if there's anything else worth mentioning. Uh, Matt posted a couple of videos of whatever, whatever these, these whatever crazy fucks are that talk about crazy existential bibble babbly crap. So yeah, I didn't bother. I, I, I not bothered watching anymore. 
um, Rizzle Fizzle. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of fizzled. I haven't paid any attention either, so yeah, it's it's, it's not making as many videos though. And I wouldn't be watching them anyway because he's kind of lost his, you know, he doesn't really have a, uh, a direction or a, a point. I mean, the, <clears throat> you know, um, the anti-feminism thing, or whatever you want to call that, is, um, you know, that that's just a display of bigotry and ignorance, so not much to say. Um, yeah, so where else is there? I think they were kind of out of stuff. So, so yeah, I got some things I'm, I want to work on on this programming level and uh, come up with some other tools or whatnot or some other. I want to do something with this. I mean, you know, there's stuff to do. I just. I noticed that the comments posted on YouTube on videos. Um, uh, so there's the old Do Not God website, probably could use some reworking. Um, the art page still works. Oh yeah, it's still there. <laughs> okay, well at least it still works. Anyway, um, uh, what I want to say. Um, yeah, so the Logger Dome site, I have to work some on that. It's so tiny on this big screen, so yeah, I want to work on the idea that depending on your screen resolution, it'll expand to be more of a website. Um, but anyway, so we, episode three should be posted, you know, soon, a couple of days, and, uh, you know, we'll move on to episode four is going to be the right to die, so that should be interesting. Still looking for somebody to argue with, um, or have a conversation with, I mean, I'll see what we have to resort to. Um, yeah, so, uh, that was something, you know, some other tool-related thing I wanted to get to. Yeah, the comment thing, I was just noticing that the, you know, it, that if you view just the comment page of a video, that you can still grab text out of that, it's not in an iframe, so, I mean, there is, you know, I was thinking of making a tool that goes through the comment sections of different videos, and, you know, it kind of puts the comments of different posters who comment on videos a lot and puts them all together so you can read the comment of different people and realize who the fuck they are and how whack they are and all that kind of crap. Um, because, you know, YouTube doesn't have any of those kind of features anymore, which is quite annoying. Uh, you know, I mean, all this stuff should be publicly accessible on somebody's page. You should be able to see what they're saying and who they're thumbing up and who they're thumbing down and all. I mean all this shit should be public it's just really irritating um, you know that um, you know this universe that we're given by YouTube doesn't have anything to do with consistency you know it has to do with um, you know between what you're seeing on the internet and what I'm seeing I mean the universe the 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 the, the <clears throat> internet they're showing me is different than the internet they're showing you and you know that I do a video on that subject you know the whole idea that Google doesn't even Google doesn't even index the comments on YouTube videos I mean it's it's indexing blog posts it's indexing other content on the internet and it doesn't index comments on YouTube videos and you just you know why doesn't it do that I mean, there's got to be a reason, right? Why, why is it to its self-interest not to index comments on YouTube videos? It seems very strange. Um, but anyway, so yeah, and somebody sent me a whole bunch of links. You know, somebody from, you know, you know for years have been sending me links to stuff. Sometimes not formatted very well. I mean, if you're going to send them an email, you can't have, you can't have, if you're going to have a link in an email, it's just a little, just for general knowledge, you can't put, you can't put like dots in front of the, you know, where the HTML slash da 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 stuff starts. You can't have words next to that or a colon or anything. You have to have a space between the link. So always have a space before the link and a space after the link. Or it won't be a link. <clears throat> and many email programs will, you know, fuck it up and just, you know, it won't rec be recognized as an active link and it won't be readable either because, you know, they, they abbreviate them sometimes. So depending on the email program, so I'm just saying it's always better just to um, 
just make sure you don't have just spaces. Always put spaces in front of and after links when you're posting them. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, just throw it in there. Yeah, Patreon page. Yuck. Um, anyway, yeah, this was just a thing on the, um, you know, somebody critiquing the, the sage <clears throat> photon theory thing from the 1700s that I have reclamated, I think, quite adequately. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I really haven't heard any solid critiques. I mean, it's, you know, it's absolutely no good reason <laughs> you know, to reject this concept. And like I said, this concept can be used for magnetism, which is really important. I mean, it, it ties the two things together quite well. Uh, something Einstein's bent space is not going to do. So anyway, um, yeah, lots of good reasons. Well, I, I have to make these arguments, but uh, you know, uh, people are just obsessed with your credentials rather than what you're saying. You know, and they don't have the. I you know, the bottom line is is people don't have the knowledge to be able to critique all of this stuff because it takes you got you know look this is from 1748 I mean 1748 just amazing that you know people had the uh, imagination to come up with something like that in 1748 it's just very good um, you know but yeah people just don't know all this the details that have to go into this stuff and so then they just go with somebody they trust you know so they they trust the um the, the talking heads on the subject the Feynman's or the whatever the Degrassi Tyson clowns and such uh, because I guess they're personable or some other kind of crap you know and uh, so it just becomes an argument. I see. I don't know what this. There's so many things about Google. It's just such a pain in the ass. But what what happens here? I mean, why does this happen in some videos where the same post ends up on every video? And, I mean, every comment. And what the fuck is that? I mean, it's just so annoying. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's so many things to complain about. So little time to do it. Um. Well, I don't have anything in my belly thing. That seems kind of fucked up. Well, it's an older video. Okay. It's an older video, too. Well, I know. It should update, though, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's very weird. My little belly's empty. Mm. Seems suspicious. Um, anyway. What else? Anything else to add here? I was watching this. It's Faster than speed of light, hosted by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, and it's you know I'm uh, 39 minutes into it, and it's just been nothing but tedious. You know, just horrible. See, look, it has all these link posts. Uh, well, why? You know, I don't know what that means. Why? Why are they posting the same link over and over and over again to the video you're watching? It's a link to the video I'm watching. Uh, does this make any sense? Uh, anyway. Um, what else can I complain about? Arguing with idiots, that's interesting. I don't know what that was. Arguing with idiots. It's probably logic roll the dice guy. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Anyway. Um. And yeah, that's... I think we're done. Uh, I probably forgot something important, but I just can't remember it, so I won't keep lingering trying to remember. I don't think I will. Mm, yeah, I don't think I will. So anyway, um, till next time and such and so forth. And whatnot. Pretty much.